In a saturated market filled with big name brands, can a small company like Neo JDX make the best earbuds for the price? Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be reviewing the Neo JDX Wings, a pair of Bluetooth earbuds with a ton of potential. For the same price as most entry level earbuds, this product offers many features that make it an easy buy for anyone who likes to listen to music when they stay active. Let's start with the unboxing first. The product is very well presented, and the box itself seems like it came from a higher price point, something you might hear quite a few times in this review. Inside the box, you will find the earbuds with the smallest pairs of ear tips and wings installed, with two larger sets of each on the side. You will also find a very short micro USB cable for charging the device, a product manual, and a small carrying pouch. I wouldn't use this to do much more than holding accessories, however, but I will go over why later. The first thing you may have noticed about these earbuds is that they look very similar to Jaybird's Freedom Sprint. This isn't a bad thing of course, as they look very good and they also come in 7 different colors, so it's very easy to find something that suits your style. The build quality on the other hand doesn't score quite as high as the looks. These feature a matte finish on the sides that feels a lot like the plastic found on a PS4 console. They feel a bit cheap, but it's much better than the glossy plastic found on the other side, which could pick up fingerprints very easily, especially in situations where they're being handled with sweaty hands. These are a pair of sport earbuds after all. To protect against sweat, they have an IPX4 rating, but it's worth mentioning that I got a small tear in my cable on the first day, exposing the wiring on the inside. It probably won't be the case for many of these, but it hasn't become a real problem for me so far. I wouldn't rest shoving these in my pocket because of their shape, which is why I didn't recommend using the included pouch that doesn't protect against crushing. Another thing to note is that they didn't come with the colored ear tips like in the photos, but oddly enough, they had a colored cable instead. Pairing these with your device is very simple, just hold on to this button for 3 seconds for them to turn on, and another few to make it findable to any Bluetooth enabled device. They can connect to two Bluetooth devices at once, and they can even show battery level on iOS devices. Pressing this button when they're connected can pause or play your music, as well as answer phone calls that use a crappy built-in microphone. Two other buttons are on the same earbud that change songs with a click or change the volume with a long press. In my opinion, I think that these should be reversed so that clicking the buttons change the volume like on most earbuds. The Bluetooth range on these earbuds is exceptional, but don't expect to be able to leave them in your bag as you lift however as these don't do so well when obstructed by walls, weights, or even a group of people standing between you and your phone. These obviously aren't truly really wireless as they have a cable connecting the earbuds, but they still have a battery that needs to be charged. The rechargeable batteries last around 4-5 to five hours depending on how loud you set them. This is very satisfactory, but they are nothing like the 8 hours advertised on their website. I found this to be very weird as it even says 4 hours right on the box. Neo JDX really have to fix their product information and on top of that, they don't even have the right product listed on their Amazon.com page. This is for a completely different set of headphones and is definitely going to confuse people into buying something that they don't want. On the bright side, they charge very quickly in just about an hour. Now let's talk about comfort. These are heavier than most earbuds but using the right sized wingtips make them stay in your ear almost 100% of the time. I found these to be very uncomfortable at first but my ears got used to them by the third day and now they are by far the best fitting earbuds I've ever owned. Of course, this is subjective to the individual, and you might not know for sure until you buy them yourself. And now, the most important part of the review, sound quality. For the price you pay, you get a pretty good listening experience. As expected, the mids are drowned out by the bass, and the highs aren't exactly as sharp as the cuts you'll be making in the gym. However, this is coming directly from someone who uses studio monitors as a daily driver, alongside a set of speakers that go for around $400 US. After comparing these to similarly priced earbuds, the Neo JDX don't fall short at all. I'd go as far as to say that it wouldn't be worth paying a premium for better sound quality, as it probably won't continue anyways while your mind is set on exercising. In the end, these are not perfect. Instead, they are a fantastically priced pair of sport earbuds that offer great sound quality and comfort at a very affordable price.
If you are looking for a pair of earbuds to use while on the move, look no further than the Neo JDX Wings. Alright, that is the end of the review. If you liked the video, you know what to do, and I will be happy to answer any questions in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this to come in the future.